Hello everyone, Lori here with Spark and Rose Paper Company and I just wanted to um, share with you a little book I made for my daughter-in-law and son um, for the birth of my first grandchild. Um, I took a old little golden book and I took it apart and I created this. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through and kind of describe what I did. I um, bound it with my cinch and um, it's a boy so I decided to use the blue. Also it was the largest I had and as you can see this is extremely alligator mouth but it's because of the contents as you can see. Um, that's the back. So I'm just going to do a quick flip because I promised someone I would. So um, as you open it up, there is the original invitation that her best friend sent out with um, my daughter-in-law loves books. And so um, that's what she sent. So, And I made it a flip because I kind of liked this book plate that uh, the original people that owned the book used. So the um, I kept all of the pages intact from the original book and this one was very old. Um, uh, eighth printing 1973 so that's about as old as I could find that was still in decent shape. I think I must have four copies of this so I just took some of the cards that she received on her baby shower and um, after my grandson was born, attached them to some packaging. This was a gift bag that I cut apart and put together and created. And like I said, I left in the pages of the book. So the story is still, you can still read the story. And then there was some notes people left her and so I created another um, I created a pocket with this piece of wrapping paper and just glued it to itself. So this is another card that she received and I didn't keep the envelope because it didn't have any specific writing on it. And then this is another um, gift bag. As you can see, it's got even the brad still in it. And I did leave those holes. I poked them on the other side so... I don't know. She could do something with it, I suppose. Um, another gift bag that I attached a card, um, attached the envelope, and then a, a way to pull the card. So a lot of the envelopes, I sealed them back up and cut off one end or another. This was another gift bag that I put uh, a couple of card, attached a couple of cards to that she could open in different ways. And that's the other side of the gift bag. Um, I left it in, basically it was a large gift bag, and I um, I left it that way. So it's still attached, and I just added a little washi tape down the center to give it a little extra. This was another gift bag, and I took this piece and created a pocket, attached this and then this card I just tucked in and I liked that it said babies are awesome so I left the card actually hanging out of the envelope but if people had written on the back of the envelope I, I kept that information um, washi taped this one in this was some wrapping paper and I just attached that to the original back of the book um, and then these this, this gift bag, which is very cute, it contains all the little pieces from when he, he's had several hospital stays, and so uh, she wanted to keep all of that, so I put it in there. Um, I actually put this envelope right, cinched it right in, because the card that it contained is actually um, an odd shape, and so it doesn't detract from it being able to fit in there. And you see the word nugget a lot because they called the baby. They didn't want to know whether it was a boy or a girl, so they called it nugget. 
called him Nugget when he was in utero. So, um, more of the packaging and another um, piece of that wrapping paper. I kind of liked it. And then I just, another pocket. This uh, card didn't have anything written on the envelope, so I decided to keep just the card. And then a note that we, my daughter wrote when we went out to stay. I left the backs so she could put pictures on them if she wanted to. Um, this gift bag, uh, I did a little messing around with it. it. had some of these things that stuck, so I decided to stick them differently. So this one is actually... Uh, so you could, I don't know, tuck something behind it, perhaps. So, attach this card, um, similar to the other one. This one does not, it does stick out a little bit, but I thought it worked, and I liked the colors, so I decided to make that really clear. This is how the book's last page actually was, so I left that. She could stick something on there. I put a Brad in the hole here. It was born in October. So this has the card, and this was actually, um, had many little things. They got a lot of things shipped to them. And uh, the other side of that package, and I put that, he was born on the 21st, October, so. And then this is, somebody gave them something, and so that's a gift tag, and I just kind of just tucked it on there. So that is the end of the book. So anyway, that was my flip through. That's what I've done. Um, hope you've enjoyed watching, and I will be back with you soon. Take care. Bye.